this is Donald Trump came out recently and very explicitly said, we're going to wage the largest deportation program in history. <laughs> One of the pieces is that Trump supporters are certainly going to be gung-ho about sending people back who came to this country illegally. Mm -hmm. And so his, his hardcore base, I think, are going to be very supportive of a plank in his platform. Yeah, and I think that most Americans, when they when they see you know this is like a kamikaze wave of people coming over the border of the South are pissed off. You know, it's like what the hell are you thinking, Biden or 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 you know the, the whole government? You're permitting this shit. And there's a financial incentive. Uh, one of the concerns that many many of us have. And I just heard a, an estimate this morning that the cost of housing and feeding and providing medical care for the this uh, wave upon wave of uh, illegal immigration is $450 billion a year. That is just one estimate that I, I happened to hear this morning. And the country has a $33 trillion national debt and I believe I also heard that the service on the national debt is one trillion dollars a year just to pay the interest on the money they've already borrowed. So therefore, ejecting people has a certain you know attraction to it. And we actually need bodies. We need workers. We need yeah. workers in our fields. We need workers in our shops. We need workers in fast food. Uh, I was um, attending an event this past weekend in Las Vegas, and the hotels there will tell you, hey, unless you tell us you want your room made up, we're not making your room up. And it's not because we're being cheap. It's because we actually do not have enough bodies on our staff to change your sheets and towels every day. So certainly there's a certain sub- rationale here of putting able-bodied people who are willing to work to, uh, you know, incorporating them into the uh, uh, system of commerce in the United States. And there's two pieces to this, that people who are not coming to this country to work and to take real jobs and to fill real jobs that we need in technology, science, Healthcare, and I, frankly, I don't see people creeping over the southern border fitting that description because they could come here legally. I mean, virtually anybody who's a medical doctor, anyone in the world wants to come to the uh, United States, any computer technician, you know, person with advanced degree in computer science, um, advanced science people, they may have a little bit of a cue, but I mean, the, the, the doors are wide open. And many, many people who come here for a graduate degree can parlay that into uh, after school education. And many of them, once they do the uh, optional professional training, it's called OPT, many of them then convert to um, green card, you know, legal status. So indeed, the attraction of the, the Trump pitch is very strong. This is Dr. David D. Shine for this special edition of Saving America. Thank you for listening. If you've enjoyed this episode, please subscribe.